video by the one and the only Tisa Tierra. So it is currently Sunday and it is about, it's almost two o'clock. Um, and I'm finna get ready to go to the grocery store right now. I'm outside walking Kobe. Finna get ready to go to the grocery store. We're going to work tonight and we're going to the new club. So I'm really excited. I cleaned out my um, locker at Rumors. So I'm excited, y'all. I'm really excited. I hope y'all are excited um, about this new adventure. But I just wanted to come on here and start today's video. It is nice and warm outside. We're supposed to be getting up to like 72 degrees today. So I'm so excited about that because it was really cold yesterday. I told y'all just yesterday it was hailing outside. So this warm weather is amaze balls. I can't wait to get dresses and wear my dresses and wear sandals. And I'm ready for this pollen to leave too, but we got like another two months left of this 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 pollen weather um but i hope you guys are having a great day if you are not already subscribed hit that subscribe button down below and um yeah hit the like button comment i love talking to you guys so we're just chilling y'all i'm in shorts today well not necessarily shorts but um this actually this is a one piece from color me cute a little one piece or whatever um and it feels so good just to be in a one piece okay if you if you're ready for a one piece click the link down below in the description box my boutique is color me cute clothing um yeah and i sell cute casual comfortable clothes for us women so you'll never see me putting on like jeans and stuff like that on our website it's just cute casual comfortable clothing i hate when i put on a scarf and then it do my hair like this I don't like it. But anyway, so we on the way to Walmart. And y'all, I've been betting on the games or whatever like that. Last, yesterday, I won every, I won every bet that I placed on the basketball games. So, and I've been doing it since Monday. And I, I know about sports. For those of you that are new here, hey girl, I'm Tisa and I love sports. Preferably football, but I've been into basketball a lot lately because I've been betting on the games. Um, and I've bet it every day this week, Monday through today, which is Sunday. So Monday through Sunday, I have bet every day. Um, yesterday, what was yesterday? Anyway, so yeah, I've been winning all my games. So I just put some more bets out there. Or whatnot. So I got like four hundred dollars in bits out on basketball today. So your girl really be paying attention. If you don't know about sports, but you know you're like, okay, well, see, I want to get into this betting game. Let me see if I can make some money. Let me see what's up or whatever the case may be. Let me know. I am gonna be honest with you though. Y'all are gonna have to pay for my bits. I'm not giving away no free bets. That's just not what you do in the betting world. You don't just give away. You don't just give away bets. Um, but I'm not going to bust y'all head for bets or whatever. Um, y'all can do $20. $20 and I'll let you know all my bets for the day. Um, I ain't going to bust y'all heads because there's people out there who charge $100 a day or $500 a week. Or and stuff like that for their bets. I'll do... Twenty dollars, cause I know y'all probably not even into beds and sports and you know stuff like that. So okay, y'all. So I'm in Walmart. I needed another whiteboard because you can have never you can never have enough whiteboards when you are in business and you need to write down things. So this is for actually this is for me to keep up with how much money I'm making at the club because my other whiteboard used to be used for that and then I turned it into like a monthly beginning of a month um brain dump for everything that i want to do for my businesses so this is going to be to keep up with how much i make in the club so that i don't have to tip the house mom i'm just buying my own stuff so i got this lotion and then i got those baby wipes i need a spray bottle and some mousse and some more deodorant but i don't have time to go get it um because i've got to leave out and go get my kids so but i have all of that at home so i just put that in my dance bag as well, and then the rest of this stuff is just dinner for tonight. Did we get a different garlic because you don't know like the 
It's just darker. I put it a little longer. Oh. It still tastes the same. Okay. So yeah, dinner is ready. I did the um some honey garlic chicken. Um honey garlic chicken, broccoli, homemade mashed potatoes. It was supposed to be honey garlic salmon, but um Walmart was out of salmon. They didn't have none, so y'all dinner here is dinner and i'm about to watch tv kobe you already ate no no get your ass on your ass on. get out of my room go i'm not playing with you He's just trying to wait and see if I'm going to throw some little scraps. I'm not. Get the fuck out. Might as well go on in there with them kids. Because you're not going to get nothing to him. Ashley just feeds him a big old plate of uh, food like an hour ago. So you're not hungry. What's up, y'all? So I'm at the new spot. Well, she behind you. She naked. I ain't want to find that way. I'm at the new spot. The music is loud as fuck. I don't want to get copyrighted, but I just got off stage. We're working with a little something. Made our money back before 12 o'clock. So that's really always the goal. You know? Yeah. Chubby drive, look alive, look alive Niggas came up on this side, now they on the other side Oh well, fuck them dog. we gon' see how hard they ride I get racks to go outside, and I spit it with the guys We up on the other side, niggas actin' like we tied I been gone since like July, niggas actin' like I died They won't be expecting shit when Capo go to slide Cause I told them that we put that shit behind us, but I lied, Hey. Hey, look who I'm around, man. If I fuck up, I'ma be downtown, man. Folk flow down, man. That's if I get caught, man. Push me to the edge, so it really ain't my motherfucking fault, man. I'm not to blame, man. This fucking industry is cut, though. I'm not the same, man. And I can let you check the tag. Now I'm rocking name brand. I'm only chasing after bags. Now I got a game plan, and I'm out here with the. 700, three out fives, look alive, look alive Niggas came up on this side, now they on the other side Oh well, fuck them dog. we gon' see how hard they ride I get racks to go outside, and I spit it with the guys We up on the other side, niggas actin' like we tied I been gone since like July, niggas actin' like I died They won't be expecting shit when Capo go to slide Cause I told them that we put that shit behind us, but I lied And then you will go away I'm not gonna be begging you to stay mm -hmm. Say maybe if you asked me yesterday I would handle this differently Things are different, I'm a new me That's not gonna happen That's not gonna happen That's not, that's not gonna happen So even if you're asking Even, even if you're asking Cause I do What I do And it's time
been there for a while and my feet hurt because I'm tired. I mean, I'm not tired, but my feet hurt, okay? Um, I'm probably gonna sit back here for like another five minutes and then I'm back on the floor, so I'll chill with y'all a little bit. Clearly, clearly I'm at home, <laughs> and um, today was a good day. Like today was a good day. I left early because I had to get my kids up for school. Um, so yeah. But the thing is, I'm glad that I made enough money to where I felt like I could leave early. I don't like that light being right there. Um, turn it away. Put you up against the bed. That's a whole lot better. But um, yeah, I'm glad that I made enough money to the point where I felt like I could leave early because... And, and the thing is, like, I'm not even tired. The club still had... The, stu the club... The, stu the club still had three more hours of being open. And I was just like, I'm out of here. I am out of here. Um, but like I said, it was a good night. I made money from the time I got in there to the time I left. I didn't get a chance to get on the stage again. I got on the stage because if you, you can get on the stage um, before 12, whenever you feel like it. So I got on stage, like when I first got there, I hadn't danced for nobody yet, no nothing. And then I got on stage and um, I told, I talked to, I think I told y'all about that, or I think I counted the money up with y'all, and I made like a hundred and something dollars. Um, so that was cool, but I wish I would have got on the stage again. But it's all good. It's all good. So this is what we made tonight. Period. 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 And we left three hours early. Period. Thumbnail. And we left early. So, can't be that with a stick, should have put. Now let's count this up and get ready for bed. Two, three, four. Got four of them in. I don't even know if this is at least four hundred dollars, but yeah. So tonight's recap. Got on stage, made some money. As I got on stage, and the thing is, the guy who tipped me on stage, he looks so familiar, like I've seen him before. so familiar like I don't see him before I'm gonna wait before I count this up because when I count this up I'm really just gonna speed it up to do background music but he looks so familiar I know I've seen him at some club before but um he took the stage cool then I danced for this couple cool then after I danced for this couple I made like $60 off of them then it's I hadn't even put my clothes back on and then I saw my homeboy pull up and I was just like so excited um, because he's been supporting me since since I since the beginning of my dancing career. So for like ten years, like me and him have been rocking. So he pulled up with his homeboy and then he gave me a little something or whatever like that because he was like he had to go himself or whatever, but he just wanted to make sure that he came and supported me on my first day at this new club. 
So that was really nice of him. Um, and then after I danced for him, I danced for this other guy and I made over a hundred dollars with him. I didn't even count it, but I know I made over a hundred dollars with him. Then I danced for this other guy. And then that was it. That was all my money for the night. So, and then one of the guys who I made over a hundred dollars with, I was there for him. I was like, you know, hey, how you doing? Um, would you like a dance? It's so like he looked at me, looked at my booty and everything like that. He was like, yeah, come on. So I was like, okay. So I, I just started dancing. And I asked him, I was like, what's your name? So he told me his name. And I was like, okay, so I'm dancing. And he was like, so you're not going to talk to me? You're not going to say nothing to me? I was like, what you mean? He was like, what's your name? He was like, you didn't even tell me your name. He was like, you just started dancing. He was like, you rooted for I was <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I said, sometimes you dance for niggas and niggas don't even want you to talk to them. So, you know, I didn't know. I was trying to test the waters. So he was like, oh, okay, so what's your name? I was like, Kina. I told you my new name at this club is Kina. I was like, Kina. So he was like, oh, okay. But then today, he didn't want to talk. And we asked each other, like, mm, where you from? Oh, okay, I'm from Atlanta. And I was like, where you from? He's like, I'm from Decatur. So it's like, okay. And then that, that was like the end of it. But clearly, I was dancing good enough for him to tip me over $100. So, um, but overall, tonight was a good night. Let's count this money and prepare for a nap because that's all it is. It's gonna be a nap because I gotta get up and get my kids to school. I'm gonna need safety. Tell her I can't snake me. Ray gun on safety. My girl's so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She wants the two tone spaceship. Blow smoke screen daily. So the stress don't face me. I'm going. I keep it factual. I'm on sabbatical. I'm out of Central America. I need a break from hysteria. Park like the one with the carousel. I get it lit in your area. I'm locked to the vision, it couldn't be clear. You couldn't pay me to care enough. I dare you to hate me, supreme with the sound through the stereo. So turn it up loud when you hearing us. We live and it's good in your area. My mama proud, she tearing up and it's going down. Got your girl aroused by these massive stacks like a hundred pounds. Running big laps till the sun is down like a hundred miles. Tenant frames on me, leaning down. I'm winning now. Been a while, you ain't like me then, but how you like me now? Real one, if I hold you down, I'ma keep it there till we in the ground. Jet black when I paint the town, only blue sheets when they pay me now. Treat a setback like a step back. Wave, I got the game in the virus grip. Way up when the virus clear. All my niggas on the flight list. Rebelly gifted, take the plot that I twisted, got a big lit. Sex with the incense, got my mind rants, won't stop, I'm relentless. I'ma need. So we got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So four hundred. This is twenty. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Four thirty. So yeah. Um, oh, and I another thing. Girl, so it was like, and really, we gonna say it's three twenty thirty, three thirty, three fifty because. 80 of these dollars will not get switched because my tip out for when I go back to work, it's going to be $80. So $80 is basically my real. At any time, I need to make sure that I have $80 because at this club, you have to pay up front. So I always need to have $80 set to the side. So technically, I profited three, $350. Um, what I was about to say? Oh, so there was like a little discrepancy in the locker room or whatever like that. And y'all know I don't even do drama. So when it happened, at first I thought it was just playing, but I was like, oh, okay. So I had got off stage. I went to the back and I had put my money on the table or whatever. Um, My money, like my phone and stuff like that. And so a girl, I guess her bag was like up directly under where I had put my money and stuff at. So she was going through her bag. I guess she was getting ready or whatever. And so, um, one of my homegirls from Rumors also works at my at the new club. And so, she was like, because I, I was like looking around for a chair. That's what I was doing. I was looking around for a chair because I was going to pull up pull up the chair to sit, behind, to sit beside my homegirl. So, she looks at the other girl and she was like, my friend was sitting right there or something like that. And so, um. 
So she's like, my friend was sitting right there. Can you move your stuff? Or I don't know, something about like her friend was sitting right there, basically talking about me. So the girl was like, oh, okay, well, um, no. So I was like, I was like, oh, no, nah, great. You good. Because it, to me, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't a big deal. Like, I seen that she was getting her stuff together or whatever like that. So I was like, girl, girl, you good. So, um, so then she looked back at my homegirl and was like, no, she, she was like, oh, well, excuse me then, girl, go in and get your money and everything like that. No, 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 no. After I said, uh, she good, she was like, oh, well, your friend said I was good, but go in and get your, go in and get your money or whatever, girl, or something like that she said. And then she was like, uh, talking to my homegirl, and she was like, don't, don't try to be a bully and get bullied or something like that. And so my homegirl was like, nah, baby, ain't nobody at this club ever bullied me. So mind you, this whole time, I legit thought that they were just playing. It took me a second to realize, no, they was dead serious. Because, you know, as women, like, we kind of talk to each other a certain ways sometimes, depending on how cool you are with somebody. And so I just thought it was like they were just playing, but no, the fuck, they were not. Mm. Um, and I was just like, I don't like stuff like that because I'm so unproblematic. Now, if you bring a problem to me personally, baby, don't do that. But I'm so unproblematic. Like, I don't care for stuff like that. I felt like the situation didn't even have to go the way it went. But then when I talked to my homegirl on the opposite side of the whole situation, she was like, Mm, you know like basically like nah i don't i'm not i'm not feeling her because i saw her take somebody else's seat the other day so it was already like it was basically like a personal vendetta that i kind of just like ended up in the middle of and was like because i'm like what over her being you know, i was just lost but anyway child and that's the little locker room drama for the night outside of that i'll see you guys in another video Mwah. love you bye